please enjoy. <laughs> we're gonna listen to the theme song and then we're gonna get things right. And then I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> Drop your phones back to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Just to make your day complete. You might get back into a pile on the magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, ride on the magic scuba. Welcome. Pick right, your morning. name or uh, type in a new one. We then can see the click name the go one. button when you're Thanks. ready to make waves. Thanks, Miss Frizzle. Um. Uh, I had to do a few things first, of course, so just to make sure that everything was going to go well. Uh, so, we love that my name is there. That's really cool. That's really cool of my name to be there. Okay, so basically what was happening here is, once we, once we get that thing through, uh, what was happening is everything kind of like... Welcome. Click your name it would pick up the game one. because then this game click that I'm the playing, go button when you're you. ready to make waves. Thank you, Miss Frizzle. Is this game is on OBS? Not OBS. This game I am playing through um, a CD drive, like CD ROM game. So it OBS didn't want to pick it up so like I have to share my actual screen so I was like okay let's see what I have to do to do this and it's oh I have to change my location I have to change this so that you guys don't know where I live so I just did a different city so if you see the weather show up it's not my city don't worry um <laughs> okay uh I guess I'll, I'll I guess I'll begin uh my name's Jillmithy hello everyone how are you uh, I use they them pronouns and it is way too early in the morning so of course uh, you guys are all treated to morning voice isn't that lovely you guys are all here for my morning voice that's the only reason why anyone would ever attend is for morning voice I just want to make sure that I actually said the thing or if it was like a fever dream because you know that is something else that I would typically do um, that is some stuff that happens sometimes. Just doing a quick check. Did I ping? I did. That's amazing. I never do I never do things right. I'm kidding, I do things right all the time. I don't make mistakes. I've never made a mistake. <laughs> I'm not doxing you. I mean I already doxed my first name, but my first name is like well, it's not it's not my legal first name, but you know, you know how it'd be, my trans folks. Go. Uh, okay, I will go. My God. Okay. Seriously, Miss Rizzle. To come aboard this vessel, you'll need a crew pass. Click the eyes, cheeks, nose, oh, ears, boy. and hair until you like your look. Then uh, click the go button, and it's anchors ooh. away. Yo, guys, what should I look like? That was, that was Dorothy Ann's hair. Um, yeah, these are all pretty sick. Now that's a face that could launch a thousand ships. Oh yeah, it could. Um, ooh. Oh, mm, well, guys, I'm sold. Sorry, it's the captain hat for me. <laughs> oh, those are some good eyes. Oh, but we could also be sassy. Oh boy. Um. Very original. Yes, I would agree with that, Mr. Russell. I think I'm gonna. Oh, those ones were good. Oh, that's terrifying. There's so many options. I like that one. That really goes with who I am. 
So does that. But we'll see if there's You'll more. make a big splash with that face. Yes, I will. That is my job. Oh, that one's got a mustache though. Yo, get back here. Oh, but that one had a cola bottle for a nose? Pardon me. I went too fast. I need I need to make sure. Oh, you want the sassy eyes? Yeah, that's good. There we go. You're an eye catcher if I ever saw one. Ooh, good pun. I like that mustache. Oh. I changed my skin tone. I like that nose. Is there No, I want the sassy eyes. Come back here, sassy eyes. We gotta say we mean business. Is there Go any ahead. click the cheeks oh. to change your skin? Ooh, those are some hot earrings. Ear water coming out of my ears? That's stressful. Ew! Is it what the hell? Whale fins. Oh, fish gills, that's cool. Um, yes, I know some of you are here and you're probably- That's gross. Um, no, my hair, my captain's hat. I keep clicking the wrong thing. I want the captain's hat. I need to let now everyone know that I'm the, the one that's in charge. Uh, I just want to like, I want to make sure that everyone knows that I'm the captain and I'm in charge. Um, those are some interesting ears. Those are too normal. Um, oh. Kinda like the ear muffs. Okay, nope, the banana going through the head. That's it for that's it for me. Oh no, I keep clicking Very things. Very original. Come back here. It's giving me Charlie the Unicorn vibes and put a banana in your ear. Oh damn. I wanna see if there's any like non human skin colors that I could be. You'll make not. a big so we'll just be we'll face. just be pale and anemic and have an iron deficiency. Um, we'll make sure that that is our vibe. I do like the spitting one. That's a good that's a good way to be. I think um, it's not, but we're not here. Ooh, that's a nice. One. Okay, never mind. I found Go. it. All right, that's it. That's us. Um, You're an eye catcher. If I, I ever am an eye catcher. That is, that's what we look like now. Um, that's, you asked for a dox, that's my dox. That's what I look like, IRL. Um, exactly like that. <laughs> I also have, I have a Coke bottle stuck to my to nose right now. It's why, Center, it's why sometimes I'm a little and quiet. experiments are wet and wild. When you hear the ocean's roar, just sail off through the door. Ooh, we got some fancy rhymes. There's so, so that's our player card. Okay, so we're gonna leave that alone. Um, I know, I know that. It's like, I know that this right here is a quiz, so we don't wanna, we don't wanna go do the quiz right now. I know, I am such an eye catcher. Um. Yeah, so I know this is a quiz, so we're gonna do that at the end. Um, let's start with this. It's time for <laughs> lunch at the Whale Ateria. Just click a tray to find out if the whale thinks it's a tasty treat or not. To see more food choices, click the arrows. To invite a new whale to lunch, click the whale seated at the table. All right. So first thing I want to get across, I don't. I think I started the thought and then didn't finish it. Yes, I know that this series is fish games. Yes, I am aware that whales and dolphins are not fish. Um, but I don't care. <laughs> it's a good game. They live in the same place. Don't mind me drinking a lot of water. Um, so this is a beluga whale and he's gonna eat. Uh, what is he gonna eat? Does he want an octopus? Mm -hmm. The squid special gets a definite yes from the beluga. Oh good, what about fish? Oh yeah. Fish is fine for beluga whales. I don't think they eat crab. Oh, they mm -hmm. eat crab. The beluga cracked that crab in a hurry. My goodness. Turtle? Mm. No. The beluga won't sink its teeth into that. Mm. No seagulls. This beluga must feel that's not a real meal. 
See, you def mm. you don't need seals. That's definitely not a I mean, I guess belugas thing. are kind of small. Do you eat krill? Oh, mm -hmm. you eat krill. Mm. Mm. Zooplankton for a lovely beluga lunch. Oh, zooplankton. An octopus. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Nothing belugas like a eat a lot. Clams and mussels for belugas. What else we got? A dolphin. Oh, you definitely eat everything. Oh yeah. It's easy to get rid of squid. Just feed it to a bottlenose dolphin. Oh, what about fish? Fish is a fantastic wow. food for a bottlenose dolphin. About crab? Nope. 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 That morsel made the. No. A bottlenose dolphin wouldn't dive into that dish. What about? Yeah, zooplankton. A tasty fine. zooplankton snack is just the thing for this bottlenose dolphin. Oh yeah. There's no telling why the bottlenose dolphin just loves octopus. Nope. That right. morsel made the bottlenose dolphin turn up its nose. All right, let's see if we can get some predictions going. Uh, for I think that's a blue whale because it's kind of blue in color. I don't think a blue whale is going to eat an octopus. Let me know your predictions about what the blue whale might eat. Yeah, no. That kind of food gives the blue whale the blues. Yes. Fish? I don't think so. This crab? Blue whale won't touch a bit of that tidbit. What do you th I don't think it's gonna eat a crab either. Mm. Nope. That food isn't right for the blue whale's appetite. Turtle's also gonna be a no. Mm. That kind of food gives the blue whale the blues. I think blue whales are only gonna eat zooplankton. Mm. This blue whale won't touch a bit of that tidbit. Mm. Yeah, it's only gonna that be the kind zooplankton. That kind of food gives the blue whale the blues. A blue whale eats its fill of zooplankton, especially krill, krill, krill. Yes. Yeah, it's only gonna want that. This it might eat the shells. No. Yeah. That food isn't right for the blue whale's appetite. Alright, so... What do we know about the blue whale? It's only gonna be eaten... Th this is why you're endangered. I'm kidding, that's not why it's endangered. Uh, there are other factors, like people like to go whaling. Okay, killer whale, you're gonna eat everything. One orca plus some squid equals a full tummy. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh really? That's not a treat that an orca would eat. Okay. Orca's gonna eat a turtle for sure. No? That food surely fails to please orca whale. Alright. I'm sure I've seen orcas jump up on the rocks to eat seagulls. For sure. Oh yeah. There it's lunch that. on the wing for this orca. Seals? Oh yeah, all the time. I've watched the Discovery Channel. Nothing beats the appeal of a harbor seal <laughs> to an orca. Uh oh, jeez. Yeah, no, orca, it's not eating that. No lunch to munch. No, they're carnivores. No octopus. That's not a treat that an orca would eat. Clams? Oh yeah, no, that you're just eating. You're just eating things that I think are cute. Whale. Um, <laughs> cool. What is that? Is that supposed to be? I'm gonna guess. See if I know my whales. A minky whale. <laughs> oh, this minky needs a different that is so treat sassy. it likes to eat. That's so sassy. A minky wouldn't Do you make see a that? meal out of that. Oh. Fish are never too stinky for this minky. Oh boy. Yeah. It's not gonna want a crab. <laughs> this minky needs a different oh treat God. it likes to eat. You know what? Next time, I'm gonna be sassy. I'm gonna do that. Next time I don't want something, I'm just gonna be like, mm -mm. Eh -eh. and just like wave my hand like that. It's not gonna want a turtle. <laughs> a minky wouldn't make a meal out of that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's not gonna want that. Nope. That seal? No. Um, oh yeah. Here we Zola go. Plankton, definitely on the minky menu. It's not gonna want this. That's not the best for a minky to digest. All right, let's enjoy that. This minky needs a different. Okay, I don't know what that is. Does anyone know what that is? She'll tell us. Whatever that is, it's gonna eat the octopus because it matches. <laughs> nope. I've got a hunch that's not the kind of lunch this boto goes for. Boto? What? What? You fish? fulfilled this boto's wish for fish. Yo, I'm I'm quickly googling what the hell that is. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of a boto. Um. Oh no, that's a thing. It's the Portuguese 
Boto is a Portuguese name given to several types of dolphins and river dolphins native to the Amazon and the Orni Orni Orinoco River tributaries. A few Botos exist exclusively on French water, and these are often considered primitive dolphins. Alright guys, thanks Wikipedia. Um, so that's what that is. I'm like, I don't know what that is, but that's because I'm in Canada. We don't have those. <laughs> that Boto's a real consumer of crab. Oh, it's gonna eat turtle too, for sure, yeah. The Boto made a meal of that river turtle. I don't think it's gonna jump out for a fish. Yeah. I've got a hunch that's not the kind of lunch this Boto goes for. No seals either. Yeah, it's not gonna be there. I've got to say, that's not the kind of prey that a Boto eats. No plankton, because it's gonna be in, like, fresh water. Yeah. I've got a hunch that's not the kind of lunch this Boto goes for. Octopus? Nah, it's not there. Yeah, yeah. This photo got a raw deal on that meal. Shells? No. Yeah, no. It's... I've got to say, that's not the kind of prey that a Bodo eats. All right. So that was that. Come back uh, soon to the whale experience. All right. So now we know what our what our animals are eating here. On your left is an orca, a toothed whale, and on your right is a humpback, a baleen whale. Just click part of a whale to find out its tail. Okay, so we only have three parts to click on. That's cool. Um, I guess we'll start with the blowhole. Whales come to the surface and breathe through a nostril called a blowhole. Toothed whales, like this orca, have one blowhole. Very cool. Let's hear about the blowhole on a baleen whale. Baleen whales actually have two blowholes for breathing at the surface. When the whales dive down, flaps close over their blowholes to keep out the water. We love this. Okay, um, just thought of this real quick. Hey, environmental div, where are you? Get out here. Um, this is, this is your stuff right there. I say fully knowing I'm staffed there, but environmental div, get out here. Uh, An orca whale makes lots of sounds using the air passages behind its round forehead, which is called the melon. That is the melon. But there's the melon's not really here. Um, okay, if you guys haven't seen a melon on a beluga whale, Google it. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. They can get so big. That's not with their teeth, though. I'm sure this orca whale would agree that these interlocking teeth are just the thing for catching fish, squid, and other sea creatures. Yeah, like seals and penguins. R.I.P. <laughs> also, orcas are so aggressive. They look cool, so we give them a pass. The heck is that? Some baleen whales have pleats that help their throats expand, so they can take in huge amounts of water to filter for food. Very cool. And then we'll then we'll talk about your baleen. Baleen whales, like this humpback, use their baleen to strain tons of seawater and catch tiny plankton in their mouths. Pretty handy when you don't have any teeth. Yeah, that's pretty good, I'd say. So now we've learned about the parts of a whale. Um, I guess we'll click on the tank. Oh. Oh. You know, I hope my, uh, my air tanks don't do that. Um, let's bug Liz. Oh, Liz is fishing. Oh, Liz is not fishing. Very good. Liz is cool. Alrighty, that's Liz's little pattern of movement. Let's see what's down here. What is Whales this? Whales have lungs and breathe oxygen from the air. Fish get their oxygen from the water by using their gills. Is that all that's a there? A whale swims by pushing oh. its tail flukes up and down. But a fish swims by moving its tail from side to side. See, I told you there were fish in this game. I didn't <laughs> Most fish have scales, but whales don't have scales at all. They have smooth skin and a small amount of body hair. Whales and fish both live in the water, but fish don't have to come up to the surface to breathe the way that whales do. Like more. all mammals, whale mothers give birth to live young and feed them with their milk. Fish are different. Most lay eggs. 
most. What do the rest do? <laughs> Whales have lungs and breathe oxygen from the air. Fish get their oxygen from the water by using their gills. All right, that's a little, that's a repeat, so we'll move on. What is, oh, oh, a map. Oh, where do you live? The Boto is a river dolphin that swims in the Amazon and Orinoco rivers of South America. When these rivers flood, the Botos have to swim carefully around trees and plants from the forest floor. I've never seen a Boto, but that's cool. I had to Google that. I think you guys know, I've never, I didn't know what that was. Beluga? Oh, I know what that is. I've seen a beluga. Belugas don't have a dorsal fin sticking up on their backs. This makes it easy for them to slide along under the ice in the Arctic, where they live. Check yeah. I haven't I haven't actually seen one in the wild, but I think they're cool. Um What the heck is that? The minkies may be the smallest oh my goodness. whales, but there are over eight hundred thousand of them throughout the world. Compared to other whales, you might call them dinky minkies. <laughs> I've never seen a minky whale. I've actually never seen a whale other than like the beluga. <laughs> That's so sad. Uh, no, I went I went whale watching when I was a kid, and I all I did was get seasick and see a tuna. It was a it was cool. I don't live near I don't live near oceans, so I don't get to go and just look for whales, you know. <laughs> Sperm whales are found in oceans all over the world. They are the deepest divers of all the great whales. Has anyone ever seen? Uh, okay, there was an old there was like an old like documentary TV show thing I watched. I don't remember the name of it, but I remember specifically watching one, which was like. Who would win, a sperm whale or a colossal squid? <laughs> and I did like way too much, <laughs> way too much behind it to see. Like they they made way too much simulators, and they're like running out and getting actual measurements and going, okay, so we need to know who would win. <laughs> I really like that. Okay, blue whale. Love. Okay, blue whale. Like the size is just amazing, and it's blue hard to fathom. Blue whales can be found in oceans all over the world. Big is much too small a word to describe a blue whale. It's enormous! It's, yeah, it's huge. Blues are huge. Fin whales are found in every ocean in the world, from the tropics to the polar regions, but they are rarely seen close to shore. I'm uh, not seen in the tropics. I just, did you not see your map? Miss Frizzle, please. Narwhals are up north and down south. Narwhals oh, are usually north. found above the Arctic Circle. Narwhals are sometimes called the unicorn of the sea oh, because nice. of the long horn, actually a very long tooth that grows out of their heads. What is the point? I think it's to make a hole in the ice. I don't know, though. We'll find out. Is that a, what is that? Spectacled porpoises live in the southern Atlantic Ocean and a few other places. Porpoises have a dorsal fin that is shaped like a triangle instead of a hook like a dolphin's. Oh, they're pretending to be sharks. Yeah, I've never seen one of those. What is that? Is that the right whale? Right whales favor warmer waters in winter and return to polar regions in summer for feeding. Oh, that's so cool. They also have, like, something growing on them. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Because of their unusual song, belugas are sometimes called sea canaries. What? Are th we get to listen to these fellas? Pilot whales are such social cetaceans that it's rare to see one alone. I love, I love these 2,000 quality dolphins, images. Dolphins, like these spotted dolphins, belong to the same group of animals as whales and porpoises. All of them are called cetaceans. We're cetacean stands is what we are. The narwhal's horn is actually a long tooth that starts to grow outward when a narwhal is a year old. Very cute. Like their larger cousins, the dolphins, dolls porpoises are members of the toothed whale family. Very good. We stand. Because the right whale has so much blubber, it got its name from whalers who thought it was the right whale to hunt. Oh, that's not good. That's a that's rather sad actually. 
<laughs> that huge head belongs to this young sperm whale. Not a welcome sight if you're a deep water squid being chased by this fierce hunter. Yeah, no. That's, they, they often have like scars all over their faces from fighting, uh, from fighting whale, uh, whales. No, from fighting squid. Sperm whales are pretty cool. I was, uh, I remember I went to, there's a place in Ontario called Science North, I believe, and it's in Sudbury, and I went there as, I've, I've been there several times, I don't live there, but every time I pass through, I have gone, which is only, it's only three times or so, but it's really, it's worth it. Um, they used to have this ride in the, the early to mid 2000s, I think like 2000, actually maybe, before 2010, probably like 2000, between 05 and 2010, they had like a 4D sperm whale ride thing. You would go in and you would dive with a squid, like with uh, a sperm whale, like you'd be watching it on a screen and the sperm whale would get like hit by a thing and your entire thing that you were sitting in would like shift forward. It was really fun. Uh, the second time when I went like a few years later. But when I went as a child the first time, I was crying the entire time. <laughs> My parents were like, this was supposed to be fun. And I did not find it fun. <laughs> we will look at more whales. Oh, oh no, I missed the that one. The boat is a river dolphin. <gasps> it's it's so very cool. good at twisting and turning so it can weave through fallen branches in the flooded forests of the Amazon. Because of their unusual... Okay, I want to see that one that dolphin. I missed. The narwhal... Like their large, because the right whale, that huge head below, white-sided dolphins love to leap. They are one of several dolphins that can naturally turn a complete somersault in the air. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I can't do that. Oh, what's this? Where are we going? You stopped. Welcome to the cetacean rotation puzzle. Click the puzzle pieces to turn them and complete the picture. To work on a new puzzle, click the arrows at the bottom of the screen. Okay, let's start with this. So easy. Ooh. You did a speedy job on that puzzle, uh, which yes, is only right because dolls porpoises are fast cetacean swimmers. Let's medium. Yeah, let's medium. try medium. Oh, I can do this one. I feel this is big brain. I feel stupid. Um, what is this? I guess I don't know what this is. Excellent! The gray whale gets its name from the gray patches on its dark skin. Aha. Uh -huh. Hard. Let's go to hard now. Hard. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Uh... Oh yeah. I feel I'm so smart. Look how smart I am. You got it. Oh. Narwhals <laughs> like, are known what do you for mean? their long horns, but usually only male narwhals have them. Well, why? How, how come only the males get a long tooth? Come back soon to long cetacean cool. rotation. All right, so that was a little puzzle game. I'm out. Oh boy, comparisons. Let's do this. Welcome to Whale Scales. Just click a whale or a dolphin, and then click an object on the bottom of the screen. Okay, let's start with the dolphin. One and a half dolphins are about as long as one school bus. You know, that's actually kind of big. This dolphin is as long, you know, as three children from head to toe. How tall are the children? <laughs> Just cats. A bottlenose dolphin is as long as seven cute kitties. That's a good way, I guess. From tail to trunk, this elephant is twice as long as the dolphin. Very cool. Alright, blue we're gonna save the blue whale for last because that's the most are that's as the long most as a humpback whale without fail. Oh yeah. 
cats. It takes 29 <laughs> kitty cats to fill the space taken up by this big fellow. I'm now, big that's fellow. the cat's meow. It would take 12 children end to end to match the size of this whale friend. It's a school a bus? A whale oh is as God. long as two and a half school buses. That's so big. But is this a half bus or a long bus? Because I don't know. An orca is as long as one and a half school buses. Okay, I think it's like one, like a, a magic school bus size bus, so like a half bus. This orca is as long as eight kids. Okay, maybe it's not. From head to tail, 18 cats are as long as this whale. I've seen an orca before. Imagine being the length of an elephant. Yeah, there we go. They are the length of an elephant. I agree with that. I agree with that sentiment. Is it an African elephant or an Asian elephant? I feel. I think this needs to be more specific. But it's it's over twenty years old, so I don't think they're gonna come back and change it. Um. Now we go to the blue whale. I'd say these elephants just Jesus. found out they're not as big as they thought they were. The blue whale, I've heard, is quite possibly the largest animal to have ever existed on Earth, so I mean... That blue whale's as long as 54 cats in a row. That's a lot of cats. This blue whale is so long, it could carry a whole class of students. Woohoo! What a field trip that would be! Oh gosh, Mr. Fizzle, please don't do that to your kids. Our magic school bus may not be as long as a blue whale, but it's certainly just as lively. Wow. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of buses. And now we move over to the weight section. Seven Pacific Buffalo <laughs> Dolphins can call it even with a school bus. It would take 24 children to outweigh just one dolphin. Cool. 143 cats would be a perfect match for the weight of this dolphin. I'm scared for blue whale. This bottlenose dolphin's a lightweight in comparison to this elephant. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh. Seven, a humpback whale oh weighs as much goodness. as nine school buses. That's a lot. Class, it would take 1,493 of you to tip the scales in your favor when compared to this humpback. Way to go! That is more children <coughs> than... That is more children than my high school had. Jeez. A cat is a feline featherweight compared to a humpback. Yeah. It takes about six elephants to outweigh this hefty humpback. Dang. This okay. elephant, an orca, weighs about as much as a school bus. I don't like the way he's looking at me, but wow, that's he that's a lot. It would take the weight of 200 children to equal the weight of this orca. Dang. An orca weighs as much as 1,200 meows. And that is how many cats... That, that amount of cats is how many people are living in the town I lived in in the summer. My goodness. That's a lot. This elephant's got something to trumpet about. He weighs just a little bit more than an orca. Dang. Alright, you know what it's time for. How many an school orca, buses? A blue whale oh, weighs Jesus. in the same as 30 school buses. That's so much. That's so much. Imagine 5,000 children on a scale weigh as much as just one blue whale. 5,000 children sounds like real, real scary, I'm not gonna lie. Um, on my right, geez. we have 30,000 cats, and on my left, a blue whale. A heavyweight match. That's... jeez. <laughs> oh. This bulky blue whale weighs almost as much as 20 enormous elephants. Okay, now that we have sufficiently blown our minds on blue Come whales, I'm getting out of here. Scales. That's terrifying, but also very cool. Oh, we have a camera. Here's your oh. chance to make an artistic splash. Drag the stickers onto the background to decorate oh, this boy. scene. You can choose a different background by clicking these arrows. Have a whale oh, of a time! Boy. A whale? That's, that's what I called this thing! Um, 
Um, let's go to the scariest place. So, what's the darkest? Yeah, this one. We're gonna go here. Uh, let's put Phoebe in here. Uh, there's gonna be some plants growing over here, I guess. Carlos is gonna be telling some real bad joke and Mr. Will just kinda be like, can you, can you leave me alone? Liz is gonna be like creeping right behind. We gotta move Phoebe over. Playing some jokes. Uh, I can put speech in here. I think that's sufficient. <laughs> Tim's gonna be actually doing stuff. Dorothy, where's your where's your suit? Why are you in that? Oh we don't we don't get that anymore. Okay. There's gonna be a whale, right? Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh well, half the thing half the properties are missing. That's so sad. Oh, but we can get a spider fins, I guess. Half the things are missing, that's so sad. Okay, we'll just get up here. Come back soon. Okay. A drawer. I don't think that's a good thing. That's not good. Pardon me? I don't like that. That sounds kind of funny. Uh, that's... <laughs> that's funny. I don't like that. Oh, no, we're not. We don't need that. Um... Let's go the out door. The... Your gateway to the great unknown. Ooh, we're going outside. Fancy. Uh, let's go with no. We don't want people coming here. When a whale breathes out from its blowhole, it's called spouting. That gray whale spout has a lot of heart. Oh boy. Oh, what this? Oh. Welcome to Spot That Whale. Take a close look at the whale up in front. Then click all the other whales that look just the same. Oh. To make the game easier or harder, click the levels button. Oh. Good luck, narwhal. Okay, gotta find some narwhals. All oh, right. That's not a narwhal. That's a narwhal. That's a narwhal. That's not a narwhal. Nope. 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 I don't think so. No. Where's the narwhals? I want to see a narwhal. Hey. Oh, it changes. I see. I have not been paying attention. Awesome. I was not paying attention. I see. Let's go to medium, medium. and I'll pay attention this Thin time. Whale. As you hop out of the water, that's cheating. Beluga. Where the beluga's at? Where my beluga's at? Oh, there you are. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Got it. Let's go to hard. Car. I think I'm just Car. really good at this game. That's what it is. Uh, I can see. That's. Oh no, I missed it. Oh no, I didn't. Dolphin time. Where where'd it be? Oh, I have to actually click on it. There we go. Oh yeah. Awesome. Oh yeah. That's that's what I'm talking about. Goodbye for now. <laughs> I'll be spotting you soon. 
we going for a swim? Where are we going? Oh. According to my research, there are some marine mammals that are not cetaceans. Take this California sea lion, which has to keep a sharp lookout to avoid being eaten. Okay. Using Marcos. I don't, I don't know who that is. <laughs> fish? Are we gonna do fish? Whales gobble up herring that swim in schools near the surface of the water. In our school, we like to gobble up peanut butter and jelly. Yes, we do. When whales eat herring, they're also eating the tiny creatures that the herring have eaten. It's like two meals in one. This is actually how we get contamination from mercury, everyone. <laughs> Which is okay when you're eating just a small creature because they're, they only get a little bit of it. But then when you eat a bigger animal, it's eaten all of the little animals and so has a higher concentration of it. This is the stuff that you learn in school in the age of climate change and pollution. Fun. Um, <laughs> I remember learning that in school because it was like, here's why this certain pesticide is killing all of our hawks. Oh, gosh. Oh, the orca's chasing some. If I tried to swallow my food whole the way a killer whale does, it would kill me. I'm sorry, it what? Look at the way those teeth fit together. No way I'll ever be an orca dentist. Oh, they do. A whale swims by pushing its tail fins up and down. Their tail fins are called flukes. Let's shake a tail and flap those flukes. You guys got too many puns. Oh, it's going. If I tried to swim. Oh, we know. Okay, let's finish One with easy the seal. Way to tell the difference between a seal and a sea lion is to look at their ears. Seals have tiny ear holes with no flap. And sea lions have ears with flax. And you know how to tell the difference between a sea lion and a whale? Wait. I actually don't remember the joke. <laughs> this is so sad. I know there's a joke about something about you can't, you can see lions, you can't see a whale or something. I don't know. Ah, I forgot the joke mid telling it. I'm sorry. It'd be like that sometimes. Um. Just Some marine mammals, seals. like this walrus, are protected by law from most human hunters, but not from hungry orcas. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. One easy way to tell the difference oh, between know. a seal. Don't worry. Let's see what Carlos. Does anyone doing. know how you can tell how heavy a whale is? You put it on a scale. Close, Beep. You take it to the whaleway station. Carlos. Oh, I'm kidding. Don't there punch kids. There are two kinds of whales: those with teeth, like an orca. And baleen whales, like a humpback. Baleen whales scoop up plankton and fish, and then filter out the water. Oh, yeah. No strain, no gain. Baleen Gives whales, like fun. this bowhead, use big, hairy-looking filters to strain the water out of their food. No wonder their scientific name comes from the Greek word for mustache. My uncle ah. Beardsley strains his soup the same way. Ew! Carlos! Gross. Does anyone know how you can tell how heavy a whale? There are two kinds of whales. Okay, let's Those talk whale to breathe in air through a nostril called a blowhole on the top of its head. When the whale breathes out, the blowhole sprays a misty cloud high up into the air. That. Oh, I. I According to my research, whales can hold their breath underwater much longer than we can. Even longer than I can hold my breath in the car when we drive through a tunnel. A lot longer, Carlos. Sperm whales can stay underwater for an hour or longer. That's right, they can. Whales and dolphins live in the water, but they aren't fish. According to my research, they are mammals, just like you and me. Tell me more. And a whale breathes oh, no, in I air. Oh no, I keep missing these things. Whales and dolphins <laughs> live in the water, but they aren't you fish. Stop. <laughs> According to my research, they are mammals, just like you and me. And dogs, and cats, and lions, and tigers, and elephants. Everything. A whale breathes in air through a nostril called a blowhole on the top of its head. When the whale breathes out, the blowhole sprays a misty cloud high up into the air. That's about as nothing to sneeze at. Carlos. If you guys want to know about one of the creatures, just let me know and I will move to that one next. 
A giant squid may be a tempting meal for a sperm whale, but it's a meal the whale will have to fight for. Lots of sperm whales have the scars to prove it. Yeah, they do. Dolphins and whales come in all shapes and sizes, but the one thing they have in common is that they all belong to the group of marine mammals called cetaceans. Squid often escape from predators by shooting clouds of dark ink into the water. They can also swim fast by shooting water through their bodies to make a quick getaway. Bye-bye. Oh, a giant squid can grow to twice the length of a city bus and has eyeballs the size of a human head. Giant squid live down deep in the ocean, and that's okay with me. There's also a type of squid called a colossal squid, and they are even bigger. A giant squid may be a tempting meal for a sperm All right, so we got but that, so let's go to the... Plankton is like a floating pasture. Only instead of horses and cows, it's whales and fish that are grazing. In just four cups of seawater, you might find 500 million tiny plants and animals. The plants are called phytoplankton, and the animals are called zooplankton. Ah. Zooplankton may be a lot smaller than my thumb, but they're a big part of the ocean food chain. These look like tiny shrimp, but they're a kind of zooplankton called krill. They do. They do look like that. I, I have actually swam in a group of krill before. <laughs> It was weird. <laughs> I did not expect them to be there, and they were there. Fish, birds, seals, and especially baleen whales eat a kind of zooplankton called krill. Lots of ocean creatures love these tiny, tasty treats. Yes, they do. Whales travel in family groups called ponds, and sometimes they all come to the surface to breathe at the same time. What a sensational spell of spouting that is! See. Okay, Plankton we did is like that a floating one. Pasture. Only instead of uh, horses and cows, it's whales and we're fish that are on this dude. Oh, there he goes. There goes the gray whale. Check out that gray whale. It's spy hopping. That's when a whale pokes its head out of the water to see what's happening. I think it's getting a good look at us, and that gives us a chance to get a good look at it too. I hate to tell you this, but that doesn't look very realistic. It's fine, though. You know, 20 years ago... Oh, is it just gonna spy hop for us? When the gray whale goes to oh. sleep, it keeps its blowhole at the surface of the water, so it can breathe whenever it needs to. If this one starts to snore, I'm out of here. And there it goes. More facts. Give me more about this whale. I said I want more. <laughs> to eat, a gray whale dives to the bottom of the sea, rolls on its side, and draws sand and water into its mouth. The water and sand strain out through the baleen plates, leaving the food near the tongue where it can be swallowed. Oh, very cool. Tell me more, gray whale. Do you have more? Check out that gray whale. It's All right. You do not. Uh, I don't remember your name, but please give me more information. Flippers are kind of like human hands. Whales use flippers to steer through the water and to stop. But I remember how fun it is first. to go your way with just one flap of a flipper. Is his name Tim? I want to say Tim, but I don't know. Whales use their dorsal fins on their backs to steer through the water and keep their balance. Fins are truly fantastic. Oh boy. Whale researchers keep track of individual whales, like the humpback whale, by taking photographs of their tail flukes. Each tail marking is unique, like a fingerprint. They also have tracking devices. <laughs> Flippers are kind of like right, human hands. Many whales live in family groups called pods. If trouble threatens, sperm whales make a circle with the baby whales safely inside. Whales have everything they need to succeed at life in the ocean. Flippers to steer with, tails to push with, and streamlined bodies that glide through the water. Very cool. A long time ago, the ancestors of these whales were furry, four-legged creatures that lived on land and hunted in the sea. 
It took millions of years for them to become the whales we know today. They really like Isn't that. it grand how whales can stay warm when the water is cold? Those beautiful blankets of blubber they have under their skin really keep them cozy. Okay, just, just a real, a real quick, uh, they really went back. They were like, I don't, I don't like it up here. I'm going back to the ocean. Whales use many sounds to communicate with each other. They squeeze air through their windpipes and blowholes to make chirps, grunts, and groans. Precise the moon, no Phoebe. Whales who are miles apart can hear each other as clearly as my aunt Clara says. Speak up and be heard. Many whales live in family groups All called right, pods. let's go it's to trouble. the humpback whale. Humpback whales are the acrobats of the sea. It's easy to spot them because of their long, white flippers that look like wings. And they always do like that weird thing. They jump and they dance and then they sing and it's cool. This little calf is only a few weeks old, but it weighs over 2,000 pounds. That's one big bouncing baby. Give me more. I said give me more humpback wheel facts. This mother and baby humpback will stay together for about one year. In the summer, they leave tropical waters and travel all the way to their feeding grounds in Alaska. You really just... okay. <laughs> yes, they do go Humpback up there. Humpback whales are the acrobats of the sea. Oh, we already know that. Okay, um, Liz, what are you? Ah, very cool. Do another. Uh, more tricks. Very good. What's this? There are lots of creatures that take free rides on the backs of whales, like these barnacles and whale lice. Barnacles are tiny crab-like creatures. Instead of chasing after food, they attach themselves to whales and wait for food to wash by. Oh. Some scientists think that whales may jump out of the water because they're trying to clean the barnacles off their skin. Oh, yeah, that's not gonna work. There are lots of creatures that. All right, we're going to the blue whale now. This Big is, is the most much exciting. too small a word to describe the blue whale. It's enormous, bigger than any animal alive today. It's one of the largest animals ever. Oh, what's larger? Oh, jeez. If I saw one do that, I would lose my mind. The blue whale can expand the pleat in its throat like a balloon to make room for the tons of water and plankton it scoops up. That's what I call a super duper seafood scooper. Yeah, apparently a person can stand upright in like the the artery. Like in like a big artery of a blue whale. It's pretty crazy. The weight of a blue whale's huge body is supported by water. On land, an animal the size of a blue whale will collapse under the enormous weight of its body. Oh yeah, there's a blue, there's a, there's a blue whale skeleton, I've seen a blue whale skeleton, but it doesn't really make up for... Oh, Big is yeah. much too small. Alright, that's our blue whale facts. Um, we didn't do dolphin Dolphins facts. Dolphins try to avoid sharks, but a shark that threatens a baby dolphin can get into trouble if the mother dolphin uses her snout as a battering ram. Yeah, they're pretty aggressive, um, actually. Dolphins go for the gills. <laughs> you get too close, they're gonna murder you. <laughs> Dolphins are so quick to learn that they're keeping scientists busy trying to find out how intelligent they really are. Yeah, that's true. They're very smart. We like dolphins here. Scientists think that dolphins may use super strong clicking sounds to stun fish. And presto, dinner. Jeez. Dolphins try to avoid sharks, All but right, a shark that. that threatens All a right, baby so dolphin go to this can. Thing. Oh. Welcome to bring back the beluga, oh. where your mission is to return this little whale safely to its family pod. Move the whale by clicking in front of it or using the arrow keys. Help this little guy to keep its energy up by collecting food along the way. Let's go. 
we're gonna have to go get food. Come on. I said let's go get food. Eat. Good job. Magnificent maneuvering. All right. Medium. Time for a medium level, I think. Yeah, let's do a medium level. Medium. Oh yeah. Oh, there's an oil spill. That's not good. We don't want to get eaten by a killer whale, so we're gonna... We're gonna get the heck out of here. We don't want to get hit by a fisherman, because they are also cruel. Yay! Nice job! Yay! Alright, let's go to hard. Hard. Alrighty. Oh no, I see that killer whale. See its pattern. Oh, I see. Oh. Ah, get the heck out of there. got eaten. Um, oops. Okay, so you go all the way down. Uh, so I guess we follow? Maybe we go down here? Come on. Be quick. Oh, what? No, 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 no. No, no. You weren't supposed to do that. That's not how you play the game. There we go. Um. <laughs> and I can't go through the net. The net will take you out. Alrighty. See you again next time. There we go. That's our- there's a- there's the- I think the main portion of our education. I think that is all the education that we can get. It's quiz time. There was a tunnel. Yes, I went Welcome through the tunnel. Welcome to Spout Off, your big chance to make a splash in the ocean of cetacean information. I'm your host, Petey, the powerful porpoise. Before we begin, tell me, will you be playing a one-player or a two-player game? You know, my entire family's asleep. What? I think I'm going to go Okay, pal, <laughs> here's the game plan. Click an oyster and then click the picture that answers the question. A right answer earns you some pearly points. A wrong answer means zero points and a chance to pick another question. To hear the question again, just click me. When you've cleared all the oysters, you'll see your total score. All right. People who've been here the whole time, you gotta, even if you haven't been here the whole time, you might know. Let me know, what is the answer to these questions? Here's a gray whale. What does it dine on? Oh. I know this one. Do you guys know this one? Zooplankton. Pacific bottlenose dolphin. Blue whale. Oh, it's dining on blue whales for sure, yeah. Zooplankton. <laughs> you get an A for accuracy. Oh yeah, that's what the A's for. Okay, true or false? Whales are fish. 
Oh yeah, that's true. That's why they're here on fish games. <laughs> so right you are. The world is your oyster. Um, let's go over here. What have we here? A tooth whale, baleen whale, or a fish? Goldfish. I mean, goldfish. Goldfish. You just said what it is. Obviously, it's a toothed whale. Toothed whale fish. Congratulations, you accomplished your purpose. Oh no. Whales, fish, or both. Oh. Who swims by moving its tail up and down? Who swims by using its tail up and down? Who is that? Whale, fish. Both whales and fish. Yeah, that that was a very thick goldfish. You do? Whale. Yeah. Are you a whale? Congratulations! I'm you glad we have a celebrity in the purpose. chat again. We played Five Nights at Freddy's, made a foxy in the chat, and now we have an actual whale in the chat. This is exciting. How did you get the internet? This orca looks hungry. What do you think he'd like to gobble up? Oh, the chicken. Chicken. Oh yeah. Seaweed. Sea lion. Oh. Forget my sea lion. The sea lion joke's not my joke, but ugh, makes me so sad. What's what's he gonna eat? Go with sea the lion. Sea lion. Nice job. You swam off a winner. Is this sea creature a toothed whale, a baleen whale, or a fish? Herring. Herring. You look exactly like fish. the fish photo. Oh, you bit through fiber cables. Oh, wow. Tooth whale. Baleen whale. Fish. Yeah, no. The herring. You should... If you're a toothed whale, you probably eat these, so let me know. Fish. 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 Oh, yeah. Nice job. You swam off a winner. I do. Whale, fish, or both. Who usually lays eggs? Oh yeah, uh, do you lay- Question for the chat, do you lay eggs? <laughs> Such a weird question to ask someone. Um... Fish, whale, whale, fish, fish, both whales and fish. Can you not say it twice so we don't know that I'm both twitchy? Like, don't know that fish. I- <laughs> whale. Know. Whale. Wait, what was your question? Whale, fish, or both? Who usually lays eggs? Fish. Only when you feel like it. Okay, so that's gonna usually nice be job. a fish then. You swam off a winner. Over here. Is this true or false? Whales and dolphins are mammals. Well, if they're laying live young and they're giving them milk, true. Then they're gonna be. Nice job. You swam off a winner. Get ready to rock on the final question. All right. Whales, fish, or both? Who has gills? With gills. Whale. Fish. Both whales and fish. Mm, good question. Wait, I forget the question. Whales, <laughs> fish, or both? Who has gills? Fish. fish. Alrighty. You're quite the quiz kid. Oh, Those yeah. Astounding answers. You're sensational. Let's see how many points you've won. That's right. I'm not as smart as myself. Pardon me. I did take I did take this quiz before. Um, I'll tell that. But I I did it because I was just playing around before I did all the. But I didn't do the lessons beforehand. I go in with knowledge, and I am dumber than myself. And you know what? That hurts. I got dumber with knowledge. Do you want to play the game again? Oh, uh, yes, I Take do, it. but at Are medium. You time for another round of Sada! Medium! Oh, yeah. Technically, you have gills. Very cool. Your choices are Toothed Whale, Baleen Whale, or Fish. So which is it? Spectacled Porpoise. Oh, that's got teeth, for Tooth. sure. You get an A for accuracy. I see that I down there. Here's a big blue whale ready for a meal. Which will he choose? Orca, zooplankton, seaweed. 
I think that we are very lucky that blue whales are not eating orcas because that would leave us in danger. <laughs> nice job! You, you wouldn't want up that winner. thing. You wouldn't want something as big as a beluga aggressive enough to eat a, an orca. That, that'd be terrifying. Is this guy a toot whale, a baleen whale, or a fish? Right whale. Toot whale. Baleen whale. Fish. Okay, first of right, all, right, you right, can right, see whale. Right, whale, the baleen right, whale. right there. Baleen whale. It's right, right there. Whale. So right you are. The world is your oyster. Let's go over here, I guess. What kind of animal is this guy anyway? Narwhal. Tooth whale. Baleen whale. Tooth oh, whale. Oh, it's a tooth whale. It's got the really long one. You get an A for it's accuracy. Lipstick, it is. Please don't ever send me a picture of a whale in lipstick. That would be so weird. I, I don't want. I don't like Quick that. I imagined whale goes it. on the longest Whoa. migration. Ray whale. Sperm whale. Beluga. The longest migration. Um. That's actually a toughie. What do you guys think? I think the gray whale, but I don't know for sure. It was the longest migration. I mean, the sperm whale just goes to like the bottom of the sea. But it, that's not a migration, that's just a, I need to go eat. Um, I'm gonna say the gray whale. The gray whale. Oh yeah. You I'm really so know smart. your stuff. I do. <laughs> That's me. Always doing my stuff. A blue whale makes the loudest sound of any animal. The loudest? Are I don't think blue whales are the loudest. What do you guys think? Are blue whales loud the loudest of all the animals? I'm sure there's louder than a than a blue whale. I don't say fall. Yeah. What? Sorry, friend, that's not right. What? You guys lied to me. Um. <laughs> Darn. Which whale is the fastest swimmer? Oh, good morning, Freya. Dog. Pause. There's a dog. Hi. Hi, Freya. Do you want to say hi? Can you can hi in the mic. Yeah. Hey. Say hi. Hello. Thank you. Good dog. <laughs> All right, back to the quiz. <laughs> All right, what was the question? Which whale is the fastest swimmer? Uh, the orca. Orca. Oh yeah, that's right. So right yeah. you are. The world is your oyster. We love Freya and her missions. Um, let's see. Take your pick. Is this a toothed whale, a baleen oh whale, my or a God. fish? Really? Really? <laughs> I wouldn't even need to know the question. Salmon. Fish. Salmon. Fish. It's the same picture. You really know your stuff. I... Get ready to rock on the final question. Oh yeah, let's do this. An African elephant is bigger than a blue whale. What? No. <laughs> I'm not even going to entertain such a stupid idea. You get an A for accuracy. I such better a get an A answer. for accuracy. You're sensational. Let's see how many points you've won. I did not do as you well as last time. Again? Yes, and we're gonna play it hard. We're gonna see did we actually learn anything today. Because so far, it is appearing that we did not learn anything at all. That's what it looks like. So we'll start. What do you think this narwhal would like to nibble on? Squid, zooplankton, beluga. You know, I'm thinking it's not eating belugas for sure. Um, Squid. A lot of these are guesses really now because we didn't stuff. learn this. What? Does this animal roam the sea as a toothed whale, a baleen whale, or a fish? Shark. Sharks are fish. fish. Yeah. It's not a whale. It's a shark. You get an A for accuracy. That's right, I do. 
<laughs> Which whale is black all over its body with white patches above the eyes? Uh. <laughs> hmm. Only one of these matches that description. Boto. It's the Boto. <laughs> Firm whale. Orca. No. Orca. It's the Orca. We're trying. We're trying You're to prove we learned form. something today. Like I thought this was supposed to be hard. That one was not hard. Have you got the goods on what kind of animal this is? Uh... They whale. What? They whale. They whale. What kind of whale? They whale. They whale. They, they whale. They whale? What? Tooth whale. Baleen whale. Fish. I mean, it's got they the- whale. it looks like it has they the whale. plates. They whale. They whale? I don't know what that is. It does need they a chiropractor. <laughs> yeah, it's not doing well. I'm gonna get some baleen whale. It's got they the whale. pleats there. Baleen oh yeah. You really so, know your stuff. Yes, I do. Oh, Which yeah. whale is the largest baleen whale? Oh, good question. Blue whale. Humpback whale. Gray whale. Oh, it's probably the gray whale. The biggest whale. Not the. It's not gonna be the blue whale for sure. Blue whales are tiny. Blue whale. <laughs> I'm impressed. You really made some waves. <laughs> Let's go over here again. True or false? Sharks have belly buttons. What? They didn't say anything about that, but no. Sharks would not have a belly button. What? what? <laughs> right on the mark. I didn't say anything about that, but you would... What? <laughs> Which is the largest of the two whales? Okay, so first of all, Firm whale. that's not, that, oh, that is a toothed whale. Beluga. I'm stupid. It's Orca. fine. Yeah, it's sperm. the sperm whale. <laughs> I was like, that's a baleen box. whale, but then they were like, sperm whale. <laughs> Big brain. True or false, dolphins are usually smaller than porpoises. What? True or false? Dolphins are usually smaller than porpoises. Aren't they the same thing? True. False. We didn't learn this. Chat, I need you. <laughs> um, dolphins are smaller than porpoises? I would... I'm gonna say false. Okay. False. Nice. Thank so right you. you are. The world is your oyster. Get ready to rock on the final question. The final question. Which whale has the longest tooth? Oh my gosh. Not the one with the giant your tooth wall. sticking out of its face. Porpoises don't have the snout. Blue oh. whale. Orca. Blue whale. Narwhal. Only narwhal. They got a long tooth. You really know your stuff. Yep. Such astounding answers. You're sensational. Let's see how many points you want. I still am not smarter than myself. This myself pre pre test. So we're gonna have to say to it right now. Again? Uh, say it right now. We actually we did not learn anything about whales and dolphins, which is really unfortunate. Um, you know, I was hoping we could end this by saying that we had an educational session, but clearly we didn't. <laughs> Um, so I think we sort of discovered everything there is to see around here. Um, we had it. Oh, you didn't talk to Miss Frizzle. We'll talk to Miss Frizzle. Get ready for a whale of a good time here on the Whale Watcher. Yes. Play games, conduct experiments, or go outside. What's your pleasure? As my Uncle Dolphinius always says, let's get into the swim of things. Try some games and experiments, or click the door to go outside to see the sea. Here's your chance to get your feet wet, play some games, check out some experiments, or click the door to see more. Get ready for a whale of a good All time right. here on the Whale Watcher. So we will end with looking at our beautiful profile. So that that just don't don't forget that's us. Uh, that's what I look like. All right. Um, thank you for coming out today. We beat. Uh, we beat the game, I think, even though we didn't learn anything, apparently. 
my Discord profile picture. I should. I'll, sc I'll screenshot it after because I'm not going to hit quit live because I am filming my screen and not the game because the OBS was like, that's a that's a CD-ROM game. I'm not looking at that. Nope. Um, so we will do that. Um, yeah, there's going to, of course, as well, as always, I am Joe Mathy and I am streaming for Rebel Federation. So you can check out our Discord in the description. You can also check out our website in the description or at rebelfederation.com. That's always fun. And, uh, of, and if you're on YouTube, hi, what's up? Uh, <laughs> how's it going? Subscribe. <laughs> I'm really bad at that. Uh, follow the Twitch too. You know, while you're here, let's just let's just check all the bases. I will be posting in the Discord maybe later today, maybe tomorrow about the next fish game we're going to play. I know this wasn't a fish game, but it's fine. They mentioned fish. Um, we will be continuing our fish games. It's pro. You know. What? It's gonna be Freddy Fish. We're gonna play Freddy Fish next week. I've got more Freddy Fish. But which Freddy Fish will we play next week? That we will vote on in the Discord. Uh, next week will be either Saturday or Sunday at 6 a.m. Um, this 6 a.m. Eastern. The schedule will come out uh, later today or early tomorrow Eastern. And yeah, I think that's everything.